far from the bombs and the shelling, Yaroslava Shumik is trying to create some kind of normal. But the pain of her abrupt departure from Kyiv is raw. Her three-year-old son keeps asking for his father. And uh, he was crying for the dead. And I knew that um, it will be for a very long time that I will not have an answer when he will see him. Hugs and puzzles are what get them through the days. Oh. And the help of this Polish couple, who opened the doors of their small apartment without a second thought. Having the history like Poland have, knowing a lot about what happened uh, to people at uh, World War II, um, then we, we sympathized immediately and we wanted to help as much uh, as we could. They barely had time to prepare before they were paired with their guests. That's how desperately this capital city is trying to absorb a sudden spike in population, 20 percent in a few short weeks. There's an outpouring of support for Ukraine, but volunteers are stretched thin, and Warsaw is heaving from the strain. At the country's largest stadium, a crush of refugees wait anxiously. A full day outside, only to get a wristband to wait again inside for Polish identity papers to work, access health care, and go to school in their temporary landing spot. It's so hard, Tatiana says, wrangling restless children and standing in line. Here at the Canadian Embassy in Warsaw, there's another long line. Weary Ukrainians waiting to give their biometrics, fingerprints and photos to get the OK to go to Canada. I mean, it's ahead of our time. It's slow going. We came and we saw this huge line and a lot of chaos up front where people are trying to cut in because, you know, livelihood is at stake. And it's only the start of a long process to alleviate the weight of so many refugees converging on Poland. Warsaw's mayor has been pleading for more help from countries like Canada. I would simply say as quickly as possible and with minimum uh, red tape. But the weight of the war is harder to erase for a mother running on instinct. I saved my babies. Now I need to make the other step, how to live, what to earn, to find a job. So As daunting as that may sound, she says that's the easy part. She can control it, unlike the explosions back home. Salima Shivji, CBC News, Warsaw.